Hello and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I just want to give you some tips for front row. Perhaps you're new to um, a Mac or you've never really used front row. Hopefully this video will help you out. Um, front row is obviously a media center for the Mac. It's a front end to um, QuickTime really. Um, it's a good application, really simple, really nice looking interface. But it does have, have its limitations. So hopefully the, f the following tips will help you. Help help you get more out of the application. I'm going to start off with a few basic tips, and as the video goes along, we'll get more advanced than that. So hopefully they help you. So here goes. So the quickest way to launch Front Row is Command Escape on your keyboard, or if you've got an Apple remote, just tap, double tap the menu button. And to exit Front Row, Command Escape again, or double tap the menu button again. That will also exit Front Row. So to get your films to show up in front row you've got two options. You can drop movies into your movie folder or you can export movies into iTunes. So to do this just go down to Finder, go to your movie folder and just drop your movie into the folder. So now this, this movie should now appear in front row. So if you find your videos are still not showing up in front row you probably need some codecs so you can get this from Perian.org, just download the Perian plugin, and once that's installed onto your Mac, um, Front Row shouldn't have any problems playing most file formats. Also, if you want to play Windows Media Video, you can get a plugin from telestreamnet slash flip for Mac dash WMV, and this will allow you to play Windows Media Video. I will put all the links in the descriptions for this video, what you'll need. But yeah, if you just go to System Preferences, once you've installed them, you'll be able to see the actual two plugins. That's the WMV one, and this is the Perian one. But once they're installed, you'll never have to worry about them. They'll just be in the background, ready for when the need, when Front Row needs to use them. So yeah, that should help you playing any video formats. If you've got a lot of movies or videos on an external drive, all you have to do is right-click or Control-click. And create an alias. Once you've made that alias, go to Finder, go to Movies, drop the alias shortcut into Movies, and now when you go to Front Row, your movie folders, go to your movie folders, and as you can see, the external drive has shown up, and everything on the external drive will now be playable. As you can see here, this is a TV folder, what I've got on my external drive. To the left hand side, there's not actually no image or note. So to change that, all you have to do is just go to the folder. So here I've got the house, TV show house. Inside that, I've got season four. I can also add all the other seasons, if I wish, into this folder. And just add the image, making sure it says preview. So preview.jpg, like this. What was that? Now when I go to front row, so if I just go to my external drive, go to my TV folder, down to house, and you can see house has got some cover art. If I go into file, it's all the episodes. Also, when you come out, it previews them. Back out again, and you can see the cover art. So you have all your movies imported into Front Row, but you'll notice that there's no actual cover art with films. All you get is an actual screen image, which can be a bit, little bit annoying, but there is um, a way around this. Also, there's no description or out from the film, which is a little bit annoying too. Also, in your TV show folder, you'll notice none of your TV shows will actually show up in here unless you've downloaded them from iTunes, which is a bit of a pain. But there's a way around that too. So I'm going to show you an application which can solve this problem. So the application is Video Drive. It's a simple little application, but it's pretty useful when it comes to iTunes in front row. Basically, all you do is click Import Video, 
choose the video you wish to import click open and import again it will start importing the video it's not actually converting the video it is just importing it into iTunes it will keep the original video completely intact which is really good this means it's just really fast to import then it will go to the web to the internet movie database website for all the actual film's information such as its title genre tags description year it was made and also the cover art just accept and video drive will download all this information for you so you're better off um, leaving the browser open while it does that and once it's completed you just click OK and if you go to iTunes you notice the actual film now has the um, cover art but more importantly if you go to the front row go to our movies the graduate now appears with the cover art as well as, well as the description also if you've got a TV show just the same way you import the video import into iTunes using the video drive application again it will find all the information for the show click accept no errors ok close the browser close video drive when I go to iTunes check, check my TV shows you'll notice that the house the TV show house has now appeared in the TV shows folder and if I go to the front row go down to TV shows house now appears in the TV shows folder you can download video drive from aruna.net slash video drive I'll put the link in the description obviously there's a lot more to the application but I've just picked out a few of the key features unfortunately it's not a free application it is 14.99 euros but if you're using front row as a media center for all your media then it's definitely worth the purchase there is a free trial so it's worth checking out so I hope them tips helped you with front row hopefully you found something you didn't know out thanks for watching and uh, if you did find this video helpful please rate and subscribe